you have a trigger-based approach. Explain this as an opener, because I feel like that might be like too fast. Yeah. So in terms of, of LinkedIn, typically what, what I like to do, and this is something that I obviously didn't come up with a lot of things that I kind of steal from other people or just, you know, change over time. But one of the big things that my team has been doing a ton lately is just using LinkedIn sales navigator for triggers. So there's a bunch of different filters that you can go in there and play with more than I can list here. But the main one that I like the most is people who have changed jobs in the last 90 days. Mm. And so the reason that one's awesome is because usually when a decision maker goes into a role, they really try to put their stamp on you know who they are as a person when they jump into that new company. They kind of want to put their own stamp on the department, making changes, improving things. And oftentimes they're more willing to evaluate a different product or service that you're selling. And so if you can reach out to them and make it personalized and say, hey, I saw that you just jumped over from X company to here um, three weeks ago. I would love to spend some time to see if you've been evaluating how you guys currently do X. You know, something super relevant and they're going to be a little bit more open to that um, conversation. And so whenever they change jobs within that last 90 days, you know that they're probably going to be like, you know what? I just got here. I don't know if our processes are right. So maybe I should spend some time evaluating this. And so we've seen some good success with that. Um, and it's much better than just going in down a list and just connecting with 500 people and just sending them blanket messages. Um, it's a little bit more relevant, which is you know what I always talk to, and you have an opportunity to make it personalized.